Looks like we've got about a quarter inch of rain since last weekend. It's better than nothing. Not enough to make the streams run though. The water level in the original bass pond looks pretty good. Looks kind of muddy. Uh, but we're way down again on the uh, extension. Not surprising, I'm getting used to it. Still plenty of water for the life. Yeah, it's lower than it was even last week. <laughs> but this, this actually has more water in it. This is the X2 section where I dug it down a couple of feet. You know, it could be that water is actually coming over from this side. Yeah, because of the pipes. Well, let's check out the lilies. See if the water lilies are still here. Hmm. Nope, someone got in. They didn't get all the lilies. <laughs> Maybe one or two. But they broke in. I've got to put in a bigger fence. A real fence. Yeah. Deer candy. Or deer drugs or something. Well, deer don't eat cattails, that's for sure. In fact, nothing seems to. It is pretty. Maybe we should just plant cattails all around the pond. Now, there is a film on top of the pond. There always is this time of year, and it kind of looks like oil. Maybe it is a type of oil, but I think it's natural. And it goes away in the fall, so we're not worried about it. Wow, they are hungry. Look at that. You know what? I see a couple of creek chub leaping up. Yep. Yep. That's what I think I saw too. Yeah. We put them in from the stream. They like to come out of the water. We got some erosion going over here. I don't know. That doesn't look normal on the bank. Something's digging there. All right, Creek Chub. Let's hope you're okay. And you're hungry. Oh my. Immediate. Yeah, there's still a couple feet, maybe three. Well, two and a half feet of water there at least. I heard you over there, Shadow. I heard you. Oh, someone did come up here. We got about a quarter inch of rain last night. There was a steady, gentle rain. Freshening things up. We really needed it. Hardly any lilies left. Judging by the dirt on these color markers and the wires, looks like the deer Got through the fence just about wherever they wanted. They should be clean. They were only put up a couple weeks ago. Never mind the fence. Here's some that have been untouched. Clean as can be. There were two water snakes on this log. One took a look at me, the smaller one, and took off. This is the bigger one. Well fed. Frogs and fish. Not much fear of humans. Maybe it's coming back. Yeah, there's, there's 
movement next to him. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's his friend, female friend, I'm guessing. Starting to rain again. Doesn't seem to bother the snake. I think that was a frog that just jumped in. Another one. Is that her? We got three here. At least. We've seen as many as six at a time. He's relocated to this set of logs. I put here as a shelter for the goldfish from the birds, but clearly it's not not a shelter from the snake. How cool is that? You gonna bite me, snake? Look at his eyes. At this point, to keep the deer out, I figure I have two options. One is to wrap a deer fence around the existing fence, or to put an electric fence. Well, electric fence would be about $400 for a solar-powered unit. The deer fence is $80, and I already have the infrastructure. I can just wrap around. And we're going to a third option, and that is to harvest the deer out of season. We now have a permit to do that. Diane loves mowing. We've got a whole bunch of <laughs> yummy worms with the bass. I'm not going to eat them. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Yep. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> right in here. Oh. oh, two of them. Now they're on to us. <laughs> yes, got it. Very foggy this morning. Pond expansion's filling up pretty good. Made a little progress on the X2. I plan on working on that some more today. It's a nice cool morning. Good time to dig. Constantly on the run from the snake. I don't know. 